The city of Cordova was hit with a one two punch back on April 27th when two tornadoes destroyed the Walker County city. WVUA's Chelsea Barden was in Cordova checking on their recovery. She joins us now with that story. Chelsea. Philip, three years ago, Cordova was already hurting from a lack of industry and growth. On April 27th, residents suffered yet another setback, this time with Mother Nature delivering the blow. My dad was at work that morning, and he come in early, and uh, he went to bed, and the tornado hit, and me and my mother, you know, we got up, and I tried to clean everything up during the day because it blew the tree down in the backyard. When that first one hit that morning, Wayne Brown came to the house, which I was all here, all on the porch. He said downtown Cordova had been destroyed. I, I underestimated what it was, to be honest with you, the first one. For me, it didn't really hit home that that was a tornado. It was, you know, some trees down. I've seen that before. After the storm passed, citizens of the community had little time to survey the damage as almost 12 hours later, they would be facing the same scenario with an even stronger storm. The new path is right on top of Parrish and Cordova. So we got on the porch and we're sitting there and I seen that big black cloud come over the doctor's office over there and I said, Daddy, there's a tornado. I said, get in here. So we got up and before I could get in the in the house, you know, I had to kick the door shut because of the pressure. And we saw that second one come over that hill, buddy. <laughs> we knew that was bad. It was very, very sad because you stand there, it lasted about seven seconds, that second one did. We were actually watching um, uh, the news live on, uh, on our computers. I mentioned uh, exit 70 off Corridor X, which was Cordova, and I heard him kind of directing the path and uh, that's when it kind of set in in my heart you know what was exactly going on. Jeff Trawick and his wife survived both April 27th tornadoes here in what was their restaurant the Rebel Queen. They knelt in this very spot as the second storm destroyed the business they built in 1963. It was lucky oh because uh, the morning storm it come through had our power out to everybody and our town wasn't uh, people wasn't going through town like normal. That first tornado probably saved lives. The second one came through, you know, nobody was really in town except us workers. Despite the life lost that day, Cordovians are determined to come back stronger than ever. And some good came out of it. You know, it was terrible. We lost four people and, we, and a lot of people had hardships. But the main thing is we're better off today than we were in 2011. We've been blessed. We've been blessed. Mayor Drew Gilbert says even though progress has been made, the road to recovery is far from over. Chelsea Barton, WVUA News.